What's up anything cool family? Today we have Redmi Note 8 Pro. This is a phone that was announced last year August and was released by September 2019. It is a mid-range phone from the Xiaomi family but it packs amazing features. It has got a great display, camera, battery and also the processor. Normally I do consider four main things in a phone. The camera, battery, display and also the processor. The phone has a plastic frame but comes with Gorilla Glass 5 front and back for protection. It also has got nice curves that makes it good for handling. We have a quad camera setup at the back of the phone. Primary camera comes with 64 megapixel 1.9 aperture with phase detection autofocus. Ultra wide camera comes with 8 megapixel 2.2 aperture. Macro camera comes with 2 megapixel 2.2 aperture. Depth sensor comes with 2 megapixel 2.2 aperture. With the back camera, you can shoot at 4K resolution at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 120 frames per second, 720p at 960 frames per second. The selfie camera comes with 20 megapixel at 2.0 aperture, and you can also shoot at 1080p at 30 frames per second. This is the back of the phone, it's reflective, glossy and it's also a fingerprint magnet. This is due to the Gorilla Glass 5. It has a glass back and also font. It has got those round edges. It's really nice at hand though. We have the quad camera setup at the back. We also have the fingerprint sensor at the camera bump. This fingerprint sensor is really fast. The good thing with Xiaomi phones is their fingerprint sensors are really fast. We also have a flashlight at the back and our phone is mineral gray, but it's like blue when you are outside. As I told you, this is super reflective, it's glossy. This phone feels expensive at hand. It has very nice round curves. This phone comes with a soft silicone case, semi ejector tool, power brick, USB Type C cable, plus the manual. Normally, Xiaomi phones do not come with earphones, so you will have to grab one once you buy a phone. We have a SIM tray on the right hand side of the phone. As you can see here. This is a hybrid SIM slot so it houses the SIM card and also you, if you have to expand the memory you can put the memory card here. We have a teardrop notch which houses the 20 megapixel selfie camera here. 
The screen is 6.53 inches IPS LCD 1080p with HDR support. It has a resolution of 1080 by 2340p, 19 by 6 aspect ratio, 395 ppi density, and also it can get to 500 nits maximum brightness. Overall, this is a very nice display. The blacks are deep. It's not like an OLED screen, but it's really nice. On the right hand side of the phone, we have the volume rocker and also the power button. The power button and the volume rockers are nicely placed, they don't rattle around and makes the phone feel really premium. On top of the screen we have the EIP speaker grill and on the side we have the IR blaster. You can use this to operate your electronics, basically use it as a remote control. Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 retained the 3.5mm jack for those of you who love to use the earphones. So on the bottom we have the 3.5mm jack, we have the USB Type-C and also the bottom firing speaker. And the speaker can get loud enough if you want to consume media. So you are well sorted there. This phone comes with a gaming processor which is the MediaTek Helio G90T 12nm octa-core processor with 2x2.05GHz Cortex-A76 and 6x2.0GHz Cortex-A55 and Mali G76 MC4 GPU. So for all gamers outside there, the Helio G90T processor is a gaming processor. It's a processor that you can rely on, the G stands for gaming, and it's also power efficient. So you will never regret having this phone. I understand there are people having a bias on the Snapdragon line of processors, me being one of them, but this one is equally an able processor to have in a phone. And guys, as I told you, the screen is really awesome. The blacks are deep. Although it's an LCD screen, but it's really nice. And as I told you, it can get to 500 nits maximum brightness. The screen is legible even under bright sunlight. light. 
so as i told you the screen can get bright enough as you can see here Guys, if you found value on this video and you are new here, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon for notifications so that whenever I drop a new video, you get notified. Comment, like, share, and make sure that you stay connected to this channel. Guys, this is the maximum brightness the screen can get. So it's legible even on a bright sunny day. So as you see there, it's 100% bright. The cameras in this phone are much more superior than those in the Redmi Note 8. I took some sample videos and photos without color grading or any editing and placed them here so that you can see. And here are some of the sample photos. These are very nice photos. They were taken under low light but they are doing good. As you can see, the, these photos are very awesome. And here I tested the macro lens, it's doing really well. And here are some of the sample videos. These are 1080 at 60 frames per second, it's awesome. This one is also a 1080p video. It's also awesome. Well, so guys, if you're new here, make sure that you subscribe, stay connected to my channel, make sure that you press the bell icon so that whenever I drop a new video, you'll get notified. Comment, like, share, and thank you for being here. Peace.